हेलो एवरीवन आशुतोष शेयर कैसे हैं आप सब आई होप अच्छे ही होंगे टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द फेरेडिक एंड द गैल्वेनिक टाइप करंट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द ओरिजिनल एंड द फेरेडिक टाइप करंट अगर आपने वो वीडियो नहीं देखा है तो इस वीडियो के बाद में आई बटन में जाके उसे ज़रूर से चेक करिएगा सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन दिस चैनल Please do subscribe and hit that notification bell to get the latest updates first. So, without wasting any further ado, let get started. So, आज हम बात करने वाले हैं very important topic that is to say the difference between the faradic type current and the galvanic type current. पिछले वीडियो में हमने इनका डिफरेंस देखा था faradic and original faradic and the faradic type current का. आज faradic और galvanic type current में comparison करने वाले हैं और देखेंगे उनके बीच में difference. so let's start so the difference between the faradic type current and the galvanic type current hum dekhte hain usme kya kya differences hain aur kaise wo dono currents jo hain wo differ karte hain so the very first difference is the duration the faradic type current is actually the short duration current while the galvanic type current is the long duration current so if you carefully see that faradic is short duration वेल गैलवेनिक इज लॉन्ग ड्यूरेशन द वेरी नेक्स्ट डिफरेंस इज द पल्स ड्यूरेशन द पल्स ड्यूरेशन हियर यू कैन सी दैट बिकॉज ऑफ द फेरेडिक टाइप करंट इज शॉर्ट ड्यूरेशन करंट सो इट इज रेंजिंग फ्रॉम पॉइंट वन टू वन मिली सेकेंड्स वाइल इफ वी सी द पल्स ड्यूरेशन फॉर द गैलवेनिक टाइप करंट इट इज अबाउट मोर देन वन मिली सेकेंड्स बिकॉज गैलवेनिक टाइप करंट इज लॉन्ग ड्यूरेशन एज वी हैव अर्लियर सेड so this uh, galvanic type current is having the pulse duration more than 1 millisecond because because it is long duration current while in case of faradic because of it is a short duration current we have the pulse duration of 0.1 to 1 milliseconds next is this uh, usage so faradic type current is basically used for the innervated muscles while the galvanic type current is used for the contraction of denervated muscles so why is it so the faradic type current is used in the contraction of innervated muscles because we know ki hamara jo innervated muscles hai unko short duration hi stimulate kar pata hai so as we know that short duration current is the faradic type current so it is used for the contraction of innervated and not for the denervated while in case of galvanic type current it is actually a long duration current so we can say that it is used for the contraction of denervated muscles and not innervated because denervated muscles needs a long duration current to get stimulated next point is based on the facial muscle stimulation the faradic type current is used but not much used in the faradic muscle stimulation the one which is used is the galvanic type current which is most oftenly used for the stimulation of the facial muscles so galvanic type current is actually used for the facial muscle stimulation and not the faradic type next difference is the frequency the frequency ranges from 50 to 100 hertz in case of uh, the faradic type current and uh, if we see the frequency for the galvanic type it is 30 per minute so as it is long duration current so the frequency also differs in case of faradic as well as galvanic type current so galvanic type current is slightly uh, taking more time because it is a long duration current and used for the stimulation of denervated while the faradic is used for the innervated these are the basic differences of uh, the faradic type and the galvanic type current next we will see the difference between the waveforms and various types of the faradic type as well as the galvanic type current so first we will start with the various forms or types of faradic type current so the very first is the unmodified type of or waveform of faradic type current so in this case we can see it is unmodified it is a continuous uh, of a continuation of the same pattern uh, so it is known as unmodified faradic type current without any surge next is the insurges so 
this is having the surges in between so what does surge means as we know that faraday type current is a short duration current so it causes tetanic contractions and if we provide relaxation in between the tetanic contractions we get the surges so this is how the waveform looks when we give relaxations or when we give the surges in the faradic type current next is the surges in varying duration so in the faradic current we can, if we vary the duration of it in the surged mode like we know that here we plot the current here the time so if we reduce the duration time so in surges also we can get two different types of waveforms in this the duration is higher and in this case the duration is lower but it is having the surge next one is the varying interval between the surges so in this case we can see the waveforms are surged over here but these waveforms are different in their intervals so here the interval is slightly higher and here it is lower so here the surges are with higher in higher intervals and here they are with the lower intervals so this is next is the various in, interval between the surges after that we have this surged faradic type waveform in this case we got various waveforms in the surged faradic type one is the sawtooth next is the triangular and third is the trapezoidal we can carefully look at the shapes they are having first is the sawtooth so it is having a sawtooth shape we can carefully look at it so we are having this sawtooth shape okay next is the triangular so the waveform looks like a triangle over here so we can see that it is a triangular faradic type waveform next is the trapezoidal so if we carefully look at it this is forming a trapezoidal so if you carefully look at it it is forming a trapezoidal form so this is a trapezoidal so here basically we have three waveforms that is to say sawtooth triangular and the trapezoidal waveform in surged faradic type waveforms so if we surge the faradic type current we can also obtain various waveforms that is to say sawtooth triangular and trapezoidal so this is all about the waveforms of faradic type current next we will see the different waveforms for the galvanic type current as well so these are the waveforms for the galvanic type current previously we have seen the waveforms for the faradic type now we will see for the galvanic type current so these are the waveforms for uh, the galvanic type first is the triangular pulses next is the trapezoidal and third is the sawtooth this all three comes under the selective impulses we will see what it is first is the triangular now you will be wondering that why the triangular is coming in the faradic type as well as the galvanic type because there the triangular is having the short duration but in this case in the galvanic type the duration is higher or longer as compared to the faradic type so this triangular and that triangular are different there the pulse duration is very very low here the pulse duration is very very high in case of galvanic type current so first is we obtain the waveform of triangular next is trapezoidal the trapezoidal is actually gradual rising and then steadiness and then gradual decreasing here also in triangular we have gradual increase and gradual decrease not a sudden in sawtooth here we have a, a very very gradual rise and then sudden fall gradual rise and then sudden fall so these are actually the selective impulses because in all the three cases you can see that the current is increasing very very slowly means in all the three cases we can see the rise is very gradual here also the rise is gradual here also and here also the rise is very very gradual so in all the three cases 
द क्राइस इज वेरी वेरी ग्रेजुअल एंड सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज सिलेक्टिव इम्पल्स एंड इट इज बेसिकली यूज फॉर द स्टिमुलेशन ऑफ द मसल टिश्यू नेक्स्ट वी हैव दिस टू वे फॉर्म्स दैट इज टू से द रेक्टेंगुलर एंड द डीपोलराइज सो दीज टू आर नॉट द सिलेक्टिव इम्पल्सेस एज वी हैव प्रीवियसली सीन दैट ट्राइंगुलर ट्रिपेजॉइडल एंड सॉ टूथ दीज थ्री ऑफ दैम आर द सिलेक्टिव इम्पल्सेस बिकॉज दे आर हैविंग अ ग्रेजुअल राइज बट इन दीज केसेस द रेक्टेंगुलर एंड द डीपोलराइज वी डोंट हैव अ ग्रेजुअल राइज वी हैव अ सडन राइज देन स्टेबिलिटी देन सडन फॉल sudden rise stability then sudden fall here also the same so uh, these impulses are actually used to stimulate the motor nerve because so as to get a better better contraction for the so the rectangular impulses are very much used in the stimulation of the muscle i hope you enjoyed the video and you have cleared with all your concepts regarding the difference between these two currents If it is so then please give it a big thumbs up and share as much as you can agar aapne mere channel ko abhi tak subscribe nahi kiya hai to abhi kar do aur notification bell bhi hit kar do please don't forget to follow me on social media handles aur agar aap koi video suggestion dena chahte hain to aap comments mein likh sakte hain jiske upar zyada likes aayenge i'll be making the video on that chaliye guys milte hain kisi aise hi exciting video ke sath till then keep watching keep sharing my videos so until next time ashutosh here signing off